uh, yes class good evening all jaslin shaima zainab uh, let us complete this chapter quickly laws of motion should be over laws of motion was already over the circular motion particularly should be over so in your test that you will be having on tuesday this circular motion part will not come all right you will uh, get the entire laws of of motion chapter all the three laws which we have done pulley problems friction those portions will come in your subjective test all right and do attempt the test all of you please basic questions will be there whatever we have practiced okay so if you attempt it then only we'll be able to discuss it all right i'll show you i'll discuss the previous paper also today uh see let's start with the bending of rope now bending of road and banking of road what are all these that we have to study so just a small introduction which you should know see i have talked about the safety limit please open the cameras jaslin shaima zainab please so uh, whenever you have the roads curve so there has to be a certain speed present when this speed is present if the speed is crossed then the vehicle skids off right now in bending of road there has to be a certain velocity that velocity we have to calculate which will be the safe limit velocity okay so see when the road is bent the forces which are acting if you draw the fbd free body diagram free body diagrams are going to come in the test so please everything will come from the class itself revise this is a i'm not audible okay okay Okay, class. I think now it will be a little better. I have changed in it, so just tell me if it lags. Like. So I was saying that whenever we have banking of road, uh, bending of road, not banking. We'll come later to banking, bending of road. Uh, we'll draw the FBD. That is the free body diagram. And again, the free body diagram is also going to come in your test. So please attempt the test properly. All the questions will be there from the class itself. This is what I was saying before. This when my voice was lagging. This is what I was saying that uh. you will have every portion coming except the circular motion part so nothing from circular motion is going to come but uh, topics before that all the newton's law pulley problems uh, frictional force everything is going to come i'll discuss the previous uh, previous paper also which you all have given so at least attempt the test so at least we are able to discuss about it right now see when you have a vehicle present on a road so because of the contact with the surface a normal reaction is upwards fine a normal reaction occurs upwards like this right now uh, then downwards we have this mg that is the gravitational force gravitational force will be acting downwards so downwards we have the gravitational force right so upwards normal reaction downwards mg then towards the center we'll be having the frictional force which will be providing us the necessary centripetal force assignments of friction okay shaima i'll discuss the assignments of friction you have submitted na shaima yes ma'am okay i'll discuss it today so acting along the center towards the radius it means frictional force is providing the necessary centripetal force and outwards which we have studied that centrifugal force will be acting so basically something which is of use to us is that the frictional force is being is providing the necessary required centripetal force so the centripetal force is mv square by r 
frictional forces mu n n is the normal reaction normal reaction is equal to uh, mg here right normal reaction is equal to mg so if this m v square by r is equal to mu m g mass mass will be cancelled what will be the velocity straight away velocity will be under root mu r g this is an important formula because you will see it further also and this derivation comes but more than this banking of road come that i tell you this is straight bending of road just the road has been taken write this derivation we'll see one or two questions then we'll come to banking of road write it Mountain is lower.
look at this one also class this question it says that a car is moving on a circular track of radius 100 meters and the coefficient of friction friction is 0 0.4 you have to calculate the safe limit so safe limit is equal to under root mu rg so straight away you will write mu 0 0.4 r 100 g 10 so this is uh, 400 root 400 which is 20 meter per second write it Taima, you have just attempted a single question from that. Ma'am, the second and third question I didn't know how to do, so I wanted you to discuss the answer. How many questions did you get from this assignment? Uh, there were three questions in total. Three questions. Okay, I'll discuss this. Uh, C class, this is on a rainy day. The coefficient of friction decreases to 0 0.2. You have to calculate the same safe limit. Again, the same thing, mu r g. So this is mu is 0 0.2, r is 100, g is 10. Yes, so this is again 200 meter per second. Uh, yeah, almost it is 14. A little more than 14, 14.2, I think. So, yeah, that is right. Write it for me, we take the original value of G, then it is 14. Yes. If we take G as 9.8, then it's 14. Okay, exactly. Then it will be 14. Okay, okay. Then, then that's better. So, I'll write 14 meter per second only here.
of class what's the difference between a banking of road and bending of road see bending of road simply the road was made into a form of circle a curve a curve was made fine now when we're talking about the banking of road in banking of road the road is raised to a little level okay the road is also raised to a little level that is the inclination so whatever you studied about the inclination that is already mentioned Fine. So bending means simply the road has been turned. A curve has been made. Banking of road means the road has been elevated. This is the difference which you should remember. Okay. Now when the vehicle is there on this inclination, what all things will act? Perpendicular to this surface, a normal reaction will act. Downwards to the ground, mg will be acting. Uh. Then see what we we'll do. We need the components uh, not along the plane this time. Because see, we have studied that one or the other force will be providing the necessary centripetal force, right? So if centripetal force has to be provided, means everything is uh, regarding the circular motion. So we have to resolve the vectors also in a manner that is helpful to us, right? See, if I... Uh, resolve this vector into its two components where one is perpendicular to the plane other is parallel to the plane ultimately what will happen i'll have all the vectors in these random directions so that's why in banking of road we resolve normal reaction rather than resolving mg mg is at its place instead of just resolving it along the plane and perpendicular to the plane which were the rules now we'll be resolving it uh, resolving the normal reaction so as to get it along y and x axis so our resolution should be done along the y and x axis now see normal reaction again n cos theta perpendicular to the plane t this is angle this angle is theta how this is theta the inclination this both these angles are alternate angles so this is theta okay now, if this is theta, this becomes 90 minus theta. This again is 90. So, this becomes theta. So, same theory. Just remember, this is theta. All right. So, this becomes n cos theta because the axis has this angle and perpendicular is n sine. Likewise, frictional force is also along the plane. All right. The frictional force is also along the plane. So, if the frictional force is along the plane, then we have to resolve it too. Frictional force also has to be resolved. So it is F cos theta here, F sin theta down. All right. This is how we have to resolve. Resolution of vectors are important. Then we will go on to the next step. Now next step. See, centripetal force is being provided by what? What we have studied. Any force that acts along the radius towards the center. Two things. Firstly, along the radius. Secondly, towards the center. These are the two things which you have to remember. Now, here two forces are providing this. N sine theta and F cos theta. So, frictional force is being provided by these two. So, mv square by r, which is the frictional force, right? Which is the centripetal force. Mv square by R, which is the centripetal force, is equal to N sine theta plus F cos theta. All right. Further, you can write frictional force formula also. So, see, Mv square by R is equal to N sine theta plus mu N cos theta. This is also important for us. From here, what you can do, you can take N also common. If we take n common from this side, we will be left with sine theta plus mu cos theta, right? And this is equal to mv square by r, which is the centripetal force. What happened? The towards the center along the radius, we have n sine theta and f cos theta present. So both these forces together are acting along the radius towards the center. And we say this is providing us the necessary centripetal force. Once we have the necessary centripetal force, we have equated it with the formula of centripetal force. What is the formula of centripetal force? mv square by r, right? So, 
n sin theta plus mu cos theta is equal to mv square by r. Fine, class. Now, class, look here. n cos theta is balancing f sin theta and mg. So, you can say that f sin theta plus mg is equal to n cos theta. See, every this is in neutral, na? this is in equilibrium. So, above and below forces will be the same. So, here also what we can do, one thing, frictional force ka formula is Or, uh, see, n cos theta is here. We can write this as mu n. So, n will be taken common. This is uh, cos theta minus mu sin theta is equal to mg. This will be left. Now, we have these two equations. Let's do one thing. Let's divide them. So, mv square by r, mg here, this mg, mv square by r, by mg, above one first, mu cos theta, screen is lagging, it's, is it better now, mu cos theta, plus sin theta. n cos theta minus mu sin theta. Normal, normal reaction cancels, mm cancels. So, velocity is equal to rg multiplied to mu cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus mu sin theta. So, this is V square. So, this will be under root this term. Right? So, this is the entire formula. Further, what you can do, you can divide it by sin theta. So, you will get tan theta in your answer or cos theta. Also, you can do that. See, if we divide this by cos theta, so, look what we will get. Uh, this will be mu plus tan theta divided by 1 minus mu tan theta. This will be the formula and this is under. This also you get both of these formula. Alright. It's important and it comes. This formula is important. Derivation is important. But again, I am repeating circular motion is not going to come in the Tuesday's test and everybody has to attend it. Write it. This derivation is important. Start writing. Any doubts, please ask us.
Ma'am, can you please scroll down? Ma'am, can you scroll down?
yes class done open the cameras all of you uh so see banking of road so bending of road banking of road two topics are done third one third one is basically bending of cyclists now see uh i hope all of you have cycled once or is there anyone who has not uh, ridden a bicycle ever cycle chalaiye sabne all of you yes or no anybody yes, yes? shaima Okay, okay. So all of you know this. See, uh, whenever you have cycled earlier in your childhood and any time, uh, whenever there is a turn, you never keep the cycle straight. We always bend towards the side where the road is turning, right? So basically, this is to maintain the center of gravity and the center of gravity portion. Okay, Jasmine, that's fine. so whenever you are away uh, whenever you are um, there uh, at a turn so at that moment whenever you are taking a turn you bend your side yourself towards that side and then you ride the bike that's how we you do why because the center of gravity basically shifts what is center of gravity all this line of gra gravity we will be doing it in the next next to next chapter in rotation uh, we will do rotation yeah rotation we will do center of gravity or in gravitation definitely we are going to do this so uh, so when the cyclist is bending that time how will you see if you speed it up because you are bent now and if you increase the speed very much so you can skid away or you can fall down right these are the two things which can have happen cycle can skid away on the floor or you can fall down back right that is the first thing which can happen if you are speeding too much if your speed is very low it's not even meeting the required speed so definitely you will fall down due to gravitational force dominate so there has to be a speed there also so speed is same speed of safe limit which we have studied it's the same but uh, we definitely have the derivation in our syllabus and you should know where are the differences come so see since the cycle is turned the normal reaction see if i am like this normal reaction towards the ground is like this if i have turned myself this is also turning so this way how we have the normal reaction normal reaction downwards we have mg now we are, have resolved it in cos theta in cycle so can anyone tell which force is providing the necessary centripetal force which force can i equate with mv square by r look at the figure tell me frictional force friction is not here see the cycle is not moving just the turning bending point we are discussing by look look at the diagram look at this figure centripetal force yes i am asking that only is enough according to you out of all these forces which i have discussed with you which force is providing the centripetal force this is my question which force look at the figure class yes jobita your answer shaima zena look at the figure we what are the rules for centripetal force how can you identify centripetal force two things i mentioned before this also repeat that jobita you repeat the two things which we have studied because that i have written here also shaima you were answering something this is not how the class goes centripetal acceleration what what centripetal acceleration shaima you can cannot you see can't you all see the forces which are present on the screen which i have discussed i have resolved the forces also for all of you i didn't even ask you all to mention the forces which are acting 
I have resolved the forces. I am just asking which force here out of all these forces is providing the centripetal force. Which force should I equate to mv square by r? What is, is it centrifugal? Are the centrifugal forces and centripetal forces real forces? Have I not told you this in the last class that some or the other force will be providing you the centrifugal or centripetal force? Yes, correct answer is by Shaima. But till other students also answer, then only I'll say whatever she's answering. Yes, Jesseline. You are out. I understand camera also allowance. I did, but at least you have to answer. Shaima has answered it correctly. Out of all these forces which are present on the screen, which force according to you is providing the centripetal force? If you are not able to identify this, let's end up the class here only then. This is of no use if you people are not even trying to answer. At least Zainab's answer is incorrect of centrifugal force, but she's trying. Shaima also after giving two, three incorrect answers, then she has given the correct answer. That also she is in a doubtful situation. So at least answer. Okay, Jobita, MG, you are saying the gravitational force. So this is acting downwards. So for centripetal force, we see two conditions. Can anyone tell me those two conditions? How do you identify I have repeated that also. Along the radius and towards the center. Perfect. Along the radius and towards the center. So now, now see all of Which force is acting along the radius? If this was a complete circle, then which force is acting towards the center and along the radius? Now at least you all can answer. Two things are necessary. One, uh, firstly, you have to remember it. Along the radius... This I wrote earlier also. And towards the origin. That is the center. No, Zainab. I think, Zainab, your mind is not ready to accept the answer as the force. Gravitational force is acting downwards. Is it along the radius? See, class. This is a circular track, right? Imagine this as a complete circle. Now tell me, look at the figure. Look, the figure is in front of you. Tell me, cyclist is there, forces are resolved, everything physics is done. Common sense, simple logic, which force you can see, it is acting along the radius, radius of the circle. And it is pointing towards the center of the circle. Gravitational force is downward. So, Zainab and Jobita, your answers are incorrect in this manner. Because it is not along the radius. Radius of the circle. You know, na, if a circle is there, even if this is a circular track, this is the radius of the circle. This is the center. If I just cut this portion, that is this now tell me, this is the same track, na? Jesseline, your answer. Jesseline, you're present. You're attending the class or not, Jasmine? Uh, Jesseline, or you're just out? If that's the case. Yeah, centripetal force. Which force is providing the centripetal force? Centripetal force is there. But I have told you, no, C class, you have not understood the fact. Centripetal force is not an actual force. Mv square by, by R is the formula of it, but that is not an actual force. I gave you three examples yesterday. When the frictional force was acting along the radius towards the center, it became our centripetal force, Right? If two charges were present, so electrostatic force at that time became our centripetal force. Whichever force is acting along the radius towards the center, towards pointing towards the center of the circle, of the circular track, 
and along the radial path look out look at the figure class why are you not looking at the figure look at the figure the forces are mentioned in the diagram don't you don't need to answer it from your side centrifugal centripetal and any other force forces are written on the screen you have to pick one which force is acting along the radial path now answer zainab jesleen jobita you three i'm waiting for your answers you people know na because shaima has answered shaima that answer is correct because now you must be understanding shaima it is acting along the radius and towards the center yes zainab jobita and jesleen at least answer which forces what all forces can you see on the screen can you see of any force on the screen or nothing is mentioned yes jobita good normal reaction is also a force that's what i was saying to zainab your mind is not ready to ready to accept it as a force normal reaction is a force only it's not a reaction that comes it's a reactional force only so one is the normal reaction which is split into two forces n cos theta and sin theta so one two and third one acting downwards is the gravitational force so three forces are acting right now on the screen okay now jobita jesleen and zainab tell me out of these three which you can see is acting along the radial path matlab radius if you are to draw the radius that force will be parallel to it coincide karega रेडियस क्या होता है एक सर्कल का रेडियस क्या होता है कहाँ पे होता है लुक इट जस्ट इमेजिन दिस लुक एट द फिगर नाउ आंसर सी क्लास योर टाइम ओनली विल बी वेस्टेड एट लीस्ट आंसर वॉट एवर यूर थिंकिंग सी शी सेट जो बिता सेट नॉर्मल रिएक्शन नॉर्मल रिएक्शन इज नॉट अलॉन्ग द रेडियस बट एट लीस्ट आई गेव यू वन थिंग दैट ये दिस इज अ फोर्स विच हैज टू कॉम्पोनेंट सो बेसिकली वी हैव थ्री फोर्सेज n cos theta n sin theta mg these three forces are acting which force should i equate with mv square should i put n cos theta should i put n sin theta should i put mg should i make a combination n cos theta plus n sin theta should i write all these together what what that's my question to you and why am i asking this because i have discussed the entire banking of road with all of you and if you have understood banking of road then only we are here at bending of cyclist when we were there at banking banking of road that time nobody asked why are we adding these two and which force is providing the centripetal force why have we equated this it means everything is clear to all of you now answer it here quickly otherwise your time will be wasted work energy and power will not be started today because after this we just have a discussion about motion in a vertical circle that's it so your time your chapter answer i am waiting if you cannot pick a force when three options are given then it's of no use that we need move forward first so three forces i gave you i asked you to pick from one so i'll wait answer in the chat column jesleen jobita and zainab i'm waiting for your answer why n cos theta jobita and what are your answers jesleen and zainab okay jesleen and zainab your answer so i have all the three options three options three students all the varieties are covered if this is the case centripetal force is provided through n cos theta cycle will move up cycle na upar chali jayegi kyunki sara force upar lag raha hai and similarly zainab also mg along the radius class and sin theta definitely jesleen's answer and shaima's answer was correct actually 
plus n sin theta. Can't you see this n sin theta is acting along the radius directed towards the center, this n sin theta. This is the curve. So many things I told you that imagine a circular track. This is the radius also. Center is present. And then if this is the portion, we have cut this portion. Now I am asking you, this is this cut portion, which is acting towards the radius. How is it acting towards the radius? Do you draw the radius of a circle like this? Tangential. Zena and Jobita especially. Do you people draw the tangential radius? You always draw a no? radius means this separation from the center to the periphery. Firstly, open the camera's class. From the center to the periphery of the circle. This is what we call as the radius. Radius of the circle. Right? Jobita, lights are off. Please yes. fix the lights, Shobita. Yes, ma'am. Because you cannot study in darkness. Now, see, if this is a circular track, radial will be this, na? All these are the radius. Normal reaction is act, uh, the gravitational force is acting downwards. How come this is the radius? Normal reaction is acting along the circular track only, slanted. If this could provide us the necessary centripetal force, then why was there a need to resolve all this? N cos theta, N sin theta. Are you people getting this? Is it clear to all of you? All of you, all four of you? Because these concepts are very important class. Radius to ye hota hai na? Imagine karo, this is a complete circle, so radius will be this. How can you draw the radius like this and this? Yes, I am asking you, all of you, is it clear now or should I repeat? Anything that you want me to repeat can be repeated now. It's the time because we are still at this chapter. We are still on the topics. Not only is the previous part, just have a look at the previous part also. Wait, let me discuss this. Then have a look at both the parts and any part you want me to repeat will be repeated. Because if you have not understood anything, that can be clarified in today's class. And then you will remember this in the exam also. N sin theta. N sin theta is providing because it is acting along the radius towards the center. So that is our centripetal force for us. Okay. N cos theta is balancing this mg. N cos theta and mg, they are balancing each other. We can take the ratio. Kya hoga ratio? N sin theta by N cos theta. From here we have mv square by r from here we have mg so mm cancelled and n cancelled so we have this is tan theta this is v square by r g so what is this equal to see v is equal to r g tan theta under root r g tan theta and this will be the safe limit Now, class, uh, have a look before writing and copying this down. Have a look at this also, what you have written. All of you have written it, so it is there in your register. Now, I hope you will be understanding this also. Why have we taken this and all? Have a look at it. If still there is any doubt, then let me know. I'm showing you the screen also. So, if you want any part to be repeat, repeated, let me know. Write it. Write this one also and check the previous one also.
phi we took f cos theta and f sin theta and c because frictional force is acting along the plane this inclined plane so this is of no use to us right if only these two conditions are given then only it will help us in the centripetal force it will pull it and help in the circular motion so we divided this frictional force we resolved its component one component with the axis uh, angle became cos theta perpendicular one became sin theta that's why we took f cos theta and f sin theta
Uh, yes, uh, we'll then have the extra classes for that. When are your summer vacations ending? Okay, after August. See, uh, whenever we have motion in a vertical circle, a uh, vertical circle means, suppose I have a string and I have a stone or a pebble tied to it and then I move it vertical. So this is how it moves. What do you have to remember? Just two things. See. Here, downwards, mg will be acting. And along the radius, towards the center, mv square will be acting. Right. So this is mg acting downwards and tension is acting towards the string along the radius and mv square by r is also acting. Now if we go at the highest point, at the highest point downwards tension is acting. Why downwards? Because this is along the radius and towards the center and downwards here we have mg2. Fine. So these are the forces. Now, when you are calculating here, you will write P. In this case, you will see uh, when we are talking about this, let us look at this case first, downwards one first. Tension plus mv square by r, they are equal to mg, right? Here, T plus mg in the second case is equal to mv square by r because tension plus mg they are providing the centripetal force your centripetal force plus tension are equal to m so you can use second equation as mv square by r is equal to ng so one and these equations are there, which you should. Uh, just one more thing that comes in the exam is, if the string breaks soft, what will happen? Because of the tangential velocity, this will have a tendency to move tangentially. All right. Write down this too.
नो शाइमा बिकॉज सी एम जी इज वॉट एम इज मास एंड एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी इज जी सो बोथ वी के नॉट टेक नेगेटिव राइट दैट्स वाई दिस इज नॉट टेकन एज नेगेटिव सो टी माइनस एम बी स्क्वायर बाय आर यू यूज और टी प्लस एम बी स्क्वायर बाय आर यू यूज दीज टू इक्वेशन आर नीड वेन दिस इज गेटिंग एडेड और दिस इज गेटिंग सब्ट्रैक्टेड All right, class. Then you can leave. Ah, uh, next week we'll start with work energy and power. Then, okay. Thank you so much. Please revise this. Prepare good well for the test. Let me know if you have any doubts. Friction also I'll discuss in the next class. Then with. Okay, Shyama, that push. Thank you, class. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.